Hey guys, this is Linda McGrath Cruz from Perfectly Paralegal. And the question that we have today is from Laura Walker in the Paralegals Connect Facebook group. And Laura wants to know how to delete connections from LinkedIn. So there's actually two ways that you can go about deleting connections and I'm gonna show you both of them. The first way is, um, so this is your LinkedIn homepage, sorry about that. And um, the first way that you can do it is go up to the taskbar and click on connections. And this will actually bring up your entire, you know, amount of connections. And then uh, what you can do is you can search for a particular person, right? So you click on search, you can enter their first or last name or whatever information you wanna put in there to bring up the individual. Once you have the individual that you want to remove, what you would do is go to their name and click on the down arrow here next to the word more, and you'll see that one of the options is to remove the connection. So that's the first way to do it. The other way that you can do it is if you are looking at the person's profile, right? So let's say you have the profile up in front of you. All you have to do is hover over the down arrow here next to the endorse button. And the text of this button may be different depending on your connection with the person. So you're looking in this general area, but you're not looking specifically for this text because it may be different. So you're just gonna look for this down arrow. Once you highlight over it, you can click on the bottom to remove the connection. So that's the other way that you can do it. And just while we're here, I just wanna show you the block and report. Um, if you're having difficulties with a person on LinkedIn, let's say it could be an ex-coworker, an ex-employer, you know, an ex-spouse, what have you, um, and you do not want to interact with them on, on um, LinkedIn, you have the option to block them. So uh, here you'll see, so you would go to the person's profile, click the down arrow, and then click block or report. So what you would do is uh, you'll see that you have two options. The first option is to block them. And you see here that it tells you um, you won't be able to access each other's profiles. You won't be able to message each other on LinkedIn. If you're connected, that connection will be severed. Um, you won't see each other's activity in groups or on your newsfeed. Uh, and basically it'll be like neither one of you exists. So the nice thing is that you can't see that person and that person can't see you. And so if you're genuinely having an issue with people that you just don't wanna see their information, this is really nice because even if you sever the connection with the person, there's still a lot of opportunities for you to see them like in groups or on the newsfeed of other people or LinkedIn may suggest them as connections. So if you actually block the person, that's not gonna happen. So it's kind of like they don't even exist. So you would just click on block hit continue and then it's basically going to go over again that same information that you're not going to be able to see each other message each other um, you won't get any uh, suggestions to interact with each other on linkedin also if either one of you have recommended or endorsed each other those will be deleted they won't come back so if you have a recommendation from a person and you block them that recommendation is going to be permanently deleted um, and uh, basically it's like you're not going to exist anymore. Now once you block a person you can unblock them but if you unblock them then there's like a four I think it's a 48 hour waiting period before you can block them again right so basically what they're trying to prevent is you unblock them to kind of check out what they're doing and then block them again you, it doesn't really work that way they make you have like a kind of a cooling off period. Um, one important thing about that is though the blocking only works on the web Website. So if you block somebody on the website, you may still see them on the app. If you go in through the app, you would still be able to see their profile and they would be able to see your profile and so on. So it doesn't work that way. So I'm not going to block Michelle because she's awesome. Uh, but then I also just wanted to show you this report. So from time to time, if there's a profile that you come across that is clearly spam, you know, they're fishing for information, it's a fake business, every once in a while I come across a profile that is pornographic in nature, something like that, you can go ahead and report that profile. 
um, and LinkedIn will check it out and you'll see here some of the reasons that you can report people for. Um, so I do urge you if you come across a profile that's fake or you start getting spam messages from someone, go ahead and report them so that LinkedIn can check it out. And then finally, with the block and the report option, the other person's not going to know. So it's not going to be like LinkedIn's going to tell them, you know, Linda reported you or Linda blocked you. It doesn't tell them anything. It's basically like you don't even exist. So I hope that information was helpful. And uh, let me just show you once you block someone. Okay, I'm not going to log in, but basically once you block someone, if you go to your privacy settings, you can see a list of the people who are blocked. So um, you would go up here to the little logo where it would have your name, go to privacy settings and hit manage, and then you can actually see the list of people that you have blocked and you can unblock them from there. So I hope this information was helpful. Please feel free to visit me online. Um, you can find me at perfectlyparalegal.com and you can also contact me at lmc at miamifrp.com if you have questions about LinkedIn or other things related to paralegals. I would love to help you.